um, say that again, I'm sorry. Can you repeat I that? Have, uh -huh. I have the feeling that for the dog was horrible, but uh, late when the dog saved the life of the woman is mm -hmm. very marvelous. It was marvelous, uh-huh. Okay, very good. And it actually gives us a big lesson, right? So it means that it never give up, it, that he was very short, that maybe nobody believed that he was going to actually make it because he was very, he was smaller than the other dogs. But there was always, there was somebody who believed in him. So he never gave up. He was about to give up, but he never gave up and he continued until he was able to achieve what he wanted because he wanted that blue to maybe not to be a hero, but he wanted to, you know, come out and out, be outstanding, right? Be outstanding, be different from the rest of the puppies. Mm -hmm. Very good. I, I am of the, of the opinion uh, mm -hmm. that uh, it's uh, the, the history, it's about courage, courage, mm -hmm. uh, courage, courage, and about uh, amazing things about the little puppy and amazing about the uh, how I say valor. Values. 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 Super. Now we're going to watch another one that I don't know if you have seen before. It's in Spanish, but I'm going to take away the sound and the words in Spanish, and I'm just going to project the video. It's called cuerdas, chords, okay? Have you seen that one? No? Okay, good. If you haven't seen it, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, and we're going to do the same exercise with this one, okay? But I'm going to take away the sound for this one. Yeah, there you go. Because it's in Spanish. Or do you want to listen to it in Spanish and then translate to English? It's up to you. With no sound, just the video, or with sound even though it's in Spanish? And now we not listen. Okay, super. los datos correspondientes de su I'm not listening anything. Me too. No, we're not going to listen to it because it's in Spanish. So you're going to watch the video and you're going to retell it to me. Let me see. Yes. Amigable, amigable.
Okay, so what do you guys think? Mm. Opinions? 
teacher? I think it's a very romantic history. Story? Mm -hmm. I think it's a very romantic history. Story. History oh, is like Christopher Columbus, La Línea de la Pinta de la Santa Maria, for example. But oh, story right. is like, uh -huh, story. Mm -hmm. So it's a very romantic story. Okay. Is there a message behind? Tell me, Antonio. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a message. We don't have it, or we cannot maybe, um, how do you say, or let me think. Don't leave alone anybody. Okay. How to be very friendly and generous with the other guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're going to say from, something? From my point of, of view, mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, the things that happen uh, in your life uh, mm -hmm. show, show you the, the way uh, that you you can will be uh, that you will be or that you, you will be okay. that you will be mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay thank you anybody else from my point of view okay the story is so fantastic but at the time is so sad yeah it made me cry when i saw it the first time yeah the video show us that we can make the difference whatever we go mm -hmm. and uh, we always have to be kind with everybody because we don't know what kind of situation or problem uh, everyone has mm -hmm. okay yes you're right and actually what you're saying is that life is a it's it's a breath. It's so short. We never know how long that person will be there, right? Or, and so in this case, he was very, very sick. But this little girl made his days, his last days, wonderful. So she was an amazing friend. And, and she, of course, it was her first love. She, they were really good friends and she fell in love with him. And so she was very generous. She was fantastic. She was a very good kid. And so, yeah, it's an inspiring story. Very yeah, good. and I think that every good friend mm -hmm. left, uh, how do you say, well, yeah. a mark, a mark, a mark in uh, everyone. In everyone, very good. Yes, you're right. Over. Anybody else wants to share? I think it's, it's really marvelous the way. Uh, as we see a, a child, how a child treats another child at the beginning. They are not thinking in, in something like an adult, but that depends on the education that, that the child have, mm -hmm. that the child has. For example, this girl, it was, she was helping uh, her friend uh, just because she wanted, wanted to do it. But at the end, it's, it's really sad the way that the, uh, the child finished because you're not expecting that. You are uh, watching a story about love, about uh, partnership and friendship, and you are uh, ending uh, and watching a story uh, and you are close to, mm -hmm. to, to cry, I think, because yeah. you don't want to... to to see that the kid is going to, to die, but it happened yes. and uh, the girl uh, felt, felt that. And she felt like a child with a pure love in that case. And that is so marvelous too. It's true. And one, a special message is something that I have here on my board. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. And it's true, you That's have correct. to treat others the same way you would like to be treated if you were in that position, right? So um, I think it's a very nice message. And the legacy, the girl, you know, after that, after her loss, like she develops to become a teacher of kids who are in special need. And she always keeps with her the rope. That's why it's called cuerdas, because it's a legacy uh, that she carries along that always will always uh, make, it, make her think or that will remind her of the friendship she had with this little boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? 
personally, I think uh, it touched my hair. Yes, me too. The girl is very, very generous with boy. Yes. <clears throat> I'm sure that the, that the boy was happy mm -hmm. or all the all things the the girl for him mm -hmm. and her hair was very sad when <laughs> he finished. Yes, you're right. She was super sad. It's difficult to overcome a loss, and especially imagine kids to overcome somebody's uh, death. Imagine, I mean, for a kid, imagine for an adult, it's difficult. Now imagine for a little kid, it must be even more difficult, right, to overcome a loss. So yeah, you're right. Well, these were my two videos as part of giving opinions. So now I wanna, I just wanted to take that that emotional side out of you okay so i put a little bit of emotions but now we're going to go to another activity same related to opinions but it's going to be with a bucket list a hundred things that everybody should do before they die so you're going to tell me in your opinion if that's one of the things that you would like to do before you die yes or no and why giving me your opinion as well okay so let's go ahead and see What about the first one? Do you guys think, in your opinion, would you like to learn how to dance, to learn to skateboard, or to learn how to play chess as part of your bucket list before you die? What do you think? The Which one would you choose? To dance. Uh, I feel that learn to dance. You like to learn to dance, but what type of music would you like to learn to dance? Uh, Tango or, I don't know, or Foxtrot or Merengue. Merengue, yeah. Merengue. Merengue, uh -huh. Or Samba. Salsa. Salsa, uh huh. It would be That's fun, right, to learn how to dance. Okay, it would be super fun to learn something different right uh, to dance for example i don't know tango or like you're saying samba something i don't know different right very good okay yes what about skateboard no no skateboard or learn to play chess okay what about solve a rubik Hold a cube or hold an eagle. Wow, imagine holding an eagle like in your hand. They're huge. Would you like to do that? Um, I like swim in the ocean because mm -hmm. when I was a child, uh, I drown in a pool. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, after that, uh, I learned to to swim in a in a pool. But I ever had um, fear mm -hmm. uh, uh, fear for for the ocean. The ocean. Okay. It, people say that like by the seashore, you know, when the waves are coming, it's dangerous. But people usually when they swim, they go, you know, with fishers, okay? They go inside the ocean, like where there's like the Pacific side of the ocean, and then they can actually swim there. That's what people say. It's better like when you swim like in the deep ocean, but I think that you would have to be a super good swimmer to actually do that. Or like throwing yourself in the middle of, what the Peque Lake or Ilopango Lake, you need to be 
a very good swimmer to actually resist out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be interesting if you have like a, like a, a, something to protect you. What do you call that to protect yourself from drowning? Mm. It's called a life vest. Okay, so a life vest. Mm -hmm. Life? Vest. Like yes. a salvavidas. Uh -huh. Sa life okay. vest. I will write it down. Life a vida vest. I will write it down later on. But yeah, I would think a life vest to actually be able to float, right? Okay. Let's go with the next ones. I would like to hold, you know how in, a, I don't know if it's Saudi Arabia or North Arabia, they have those, a, they're like eagles, but they're super expensive birds. They have that they send messages. You actually... I don't know the name of them, but they're very fast. They are hunters and they all, they actually take messages to people or to others. They're trained to do that, but they're very expensive. But I don't remember their names. I would like to hold one of those, but I don't remember the name. But they, they look like eagles, they, but they don't have that name. I just don't remember right now. I would like to hold one because they're super big just once and that's it because they're dangerous too. <laughs> Would you like to attend the World Cup? I would love to. It would be amazing. Yeah. Yes, I am too. Yes. And maybe meet some celebrities. Me too, you know? teacher. I yes. would love to go to World Cup. But maybe meet celebrities, maybe not the new ones, but maybe my generation celebrities. I don't know, Valderrama and Fernando Redondo and, you know, Maradona. I don't know, like, you know, meet people. Ronaldinho, Ronald, Ronaldo. You know, back from the from the nineties or two thousands, like there, or celebrities. Yeah, I would like to meet a couple of celebrities at the World mm -hmm. Cup. What about you guys? I have the same opinion, teacher. I would like to turn back time and go. Uh, went to uh, go, go back. to the go back to the. World Cups to uh, 90, 1994 or 2006 uh -huh. because I love that teams that in that years. <laughs> Me too. And you know what? It's funny. I want to share. I used to collect the albums. Yeah, me too, teacher. Uh, <laughs> and I used and to have the, the stickers of the albums. The newspapers, uh -huh. uh, the the newspapers of that uh, moments of the world and Cup. to mark and also on mm -hmm. the newspapers to mark okay today is playing this one again yeah this one, and it would mark and the <laughs> scores of the of the all of the, the cup that's true amazing time i would also like to learn archery what about you guys would you like to learn how to arc to be robin hood what do you think archery attend the Olympics or maybe run for a reason? What do you guys think? I would like to learn archery. Archery. Mm -hmm. To have a good aim. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah. They it, do, there's actually a federation here, right? Our, an archery yes. federation here, right? Yes. They say you have you need to have a lot of strength in your arm because they're very um, they're very heavy, heavy and hot and you need a lot of strength to actually have a very good aim for your target. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go along with the next ones. Let's see. Don't pay attention to eighty nine. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna skip that one <laughs> what about eat in a five star restaurant yummy I would yummy. love to yeah what yeah. do we have five star restaurants here mm. like super elite five star five star restaurants like I don't know the, those mm. I don't know it's a five star restaurant but if we go to Barcelo hotel that looks very nice. Super. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Or the, I've heard about a restaurant, but I don't know if it's a five star too. It's called the Lobby. Ah, yeah. Or That's Sucre. A very nice look. Sucre and the Lobby and all super fancy names. Maybe there are four or five star. Maybe we do have, we just don't know. Right? But it would be super good to have a delicious meal at a five star restaurant before you die. Yeah, I would like to do that. Part of my bucket list. I would like to learn another language. What about you guys? I would love to learn French, Mandarin, German, yeah. and German. Italian, Portuguese. Italian. Parle. I, I would like to learn. Yeah. Oh, like wow. To learn foreign language, I study two years Italian. Oh, you like the Buongiorno Principessa. I just remember that from the movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Marisha, la chave, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. German is very similar to English in case you're interested. For example, the number, imagine, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, seven. So there is like some guten Morgen for good morning, guten Nacht for good night. So like some words are very, you know, similar to English. So they, people say that learning English and then learning German, it's easy. It's very I easy. Mm -hmm, I tried, I tried to learn German, yeah, two years ago, but it's very expensive to, to, to learn German in this country. Maybe yeah. between one hundred to one hundred fifty-five dollars <gasps> a month. A month and or a level. Uh huh. Level wow. and you have to buy the books and uh, it's very expensive. The only the only place here in El Salvador where you can learn German is the German German uh, German school. Mm -hmm. And it's that, true. that's the only place where you can get a certified. Yes. Course. Practicum to get this pra practicum, which is like a toho for for German. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, it's very expensive, super expensive. Super okay. expensive. Okay, well, but then I, actually, I guess that there's a lot of tutorials on 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 the internet for learning Portuguese or learning other languages. I don't know if there's one for German, but I have seen, for example, for Portuguese, I have seen for French, I have seen for Italian, like some channels. I found mm -hmm. a place where you, I was, uh, a website. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about Dutch Jewel? The no. channel uh, from Germany? No. Uh, it, it's, it's called D and W. Okay. D &W, yeah, it's a German channel. And they also have like, uh, let me see, a website when, where you can learn German but for free. You mm -hmm. only have to register yourself and create a, an account. And they have, like uh, a step by step, a step, a step by step, and the mm -hmm. process to learn German from level A1 up to C, on, no, from C1 to A1. Wow. If you want, share the link on the group. So maybe a, some, if somebody's interested, that would be amazing. You know, yeah. now that we're yes. under quarantine, you guys can learn. And if I find other channels for languages, I'll make sure I'll share them with you. So that way you guys have other ways of, you know, learning other languages for free. Why not? Super. Okay, my next question. New Year, New Year's Eve. Maybe not in Times Square, but it could be Australia or uh, Tokyo or I don't know, Bora Bora, <laughs> Paris. <laughs> Where would you like to spend your New Year's? Like in a, in a maybe not in a crowded place, but is is there a place that you would say you would like to say five, four, three, two, one, and then see the fireworks? Where would it be? Noruega. <gasps> okay. Watching the uh, the how do you say Aurora Ah, uh, I forgot the word. I, uh, it's <laughs> it's here. It's here. It's on part of the bucket list. I'll I'll, I'll remember. <laughs> it's part. It's I forgot Aurora Boreal. It's the same. Aurora Boreal. Yeah, it's the same, right? It stays the same. I think it stays the same. I'll let you know in a bit. <laughs> you got me there. But that would be amazing, of course. Somewhere there in Alaska or. The North in a, yes, in an icy hotel. Nordics, Nordics countries. In, a, in Nordics exactly. with the Vikings, with Olafo, the Vikings. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. My, uh, my wife, my my wife uh, uh, and I uh, have two special places to visit. Uh, if uh, if we wish, if I could, uh, New Zealand. And yeah. Italy. Italy, New Zealand, wow. because my my wife loves loves plays uh, rugby. 
<laughs> okay. Wow. But because he played rugby and they love it, and she she is learning uh, Italian because uh, there is the two favorite place for visit in the future uh, are Italy and New Zealand. New Zealand, New Zealand. Wow, super. I guess that you would also be able to see the, the Aurora Boreal from there. I just don't remember the name of it. But you would actually be able to see the from New Zealand. Those countries actually have it. Uh, super, super to the north, you actually have uh, visibility of them. But it only happens like once in a blue moon, right? In it's the there, right? During winter time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher, is the word is Northern Lights? Northern Lights, thank you, yes. Tan, 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 I'm gonna. Thank you, yeah, Northern Lights. Mm -hmm. It's true, imagine that would be amazing. Cuales morteros? No morteros needed for New Year's Eve. You, it's beauty, right? That would be amazing to actually have the opportunity to actually, that would be part of my bucket list. I would like, I would love to visit a ice hotel. Yes. <laughs> There's an ice hotel, I think, right? Yes. Let me see if it's here, ice hotel. See, they have a, a nice hotel. And, it, and it's super cool because you, you could actually have visibility of the lights while being in your igloo or being in your cabin made out of ice. <laughs> that would be amazing. It would be fantastic to actually have this visibility. Yeah. In Iceland? Mm -hmm. Something like this, imagine. Wow, we would need super cold. Yes. <laughs> super cold, just looking at it, made out of ice, everything. And I think it's everything made out of ice. It's one of the best places. It's actually one of the best or most popular places around the world, this um, ice hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Well, guys, I'm gonna stay there with more bucket list where we can do uh, other activities with it. So I'm gonna leave it for next time. As always, thank you so much for joining. It's amazing always to have you in class. I hope that you have fun every time you join the class because we always do something different. Um, work on your platform. I'm super proud of you. Some of you are already on unit five. Some of you are already on unit four. So I'm super proud of you guys uh, that you're working on your platforms. Remember that we still have this week and next week to, to complete it, okay? So have a wonderful night, blessed and wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time, right? Okay, cooketators, see, see you tomorrow, okay? You tomorrow, teacher, and I'm gonna share the link in the WhatsApp. Okay. I will. I will also share a couple of links for languages with you too. Okay. Thank you. Hi teacher. guys. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, hi. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I I want to tell you something. I yes. finished the platform, mm -hmm. but uh, when you want to in the certificate, the the dates are of February. Yes, what happened is that that's in because remember we had a delay because of Insaforp. Mm -hmm. So I think they were already standardized for that. But let me ask Inglés Corporativo about it and I'll let you know tomorrow, okay? Just remind okay. me if I forget. Okay. I'm like naughty sometimes. But I'll, I'll go ahead and ask them, okay? Because I think okay. that has to do with the time, the time period that we're going like behind because of all the, they already had that assigned for mm -hmm. a specific time, but I think that's why. But I'm, I'm gonna ask, okay? Okay, thank you. Super. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Later.